What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to spin plates over text like a pro. So in this example you're going to see a girl who I met up with ages ago, it was a cold approach number. You're going to see how I texted her throughout basically the last year and how I went from her being not interested to her saying basically I'm not looking to date to her sexting me and wanting to come over and hook up. So you're going to see the whole transition from start to finish with all the screenshots as always. So let's jump right into the screenshot. So as you can see, this started February 25th, 2020. So quite a ways back. And basically what happened was I had dated a bar. Uh, the date actually didn't really go well. So I was going out to close out my tab and I ran into another girl. So we flirted really quickly. She liked my dog and I got her number. And then it begins. So I sent her my name, which is usually the text I always send about an hour after I get a girl's phone number. She says Russian petting guy. So referencing, you know, my dog, in fact, I'm Russian. I say, ah, making cute nicknames for me already. So this is me kind of making things flirty. She says, good night. <laughs> so the next day I say, do you have IG? And this is honestly because I kind of forgot a little bit what she looks like. I was a little buzzed, so I want to remember. She says, I do, do you? I say, yes, add me and give her mine. And instead of adding me, she just gives me hers. Okay, so you can see that she's being very low investment. I say, haha, very Italian, very Italian, the last name. Um, and she says, uh, sex and dating coach, I thought you were a 30 year old virgin, right? So basically I think I told her when I met up, I made a joke that how my 30 year old virgin, how you know I've never been with a girl. I say, ah, I guess my cover is busted and she just sends me a winky face. I send her the Ryan Gosling meme and this is so long ago and this was like my, on my last phone that it doesn't even load. It says, hey boy, how's your day? Boy, good, just finished a big workout, looking nice and fit for our date. And she says, our date, working, we sadly got busy. I say, yes, do you like wine? So here I'm trying to go for the close, right? So I always, every time I get a phone number, I treat it as if I'm gonna be able to close in the short term. But sometimes it doesn't work like that, in which case you need a more long-term strategy. She says, sometimes I like Pinot Noirs from Oregon. And to be honest, I don't know want to lead you on. I don't know why I'm texting you. I'm not into dating. Oh, shit. I say, ah, saving yourself for Jesus like me. She says, inaccurate, not saving myself. Hell, wish I had as soon as you had sex, hormones be crazy. Uh, I say, so then I'm not seeing the downside of us splitting that bottle of wine, and she doesn't respond. So I follow up with, if you're too nervous, I'd understand. She says, what's there to be nervous about? She says, nothing, but you seem hesitant. So here I'm just calling out the elf in the room. She says, more like cautious. I say, of grabbing a drink. She says, do you want to? You sleeping? I say, I do, and nope, finishing up some work, what's up? And no response. So then COVID starts, and at this point, I was more interested in finding a gym I can work out in than actually getting laid. So I say, random question, they closed down the gym, yes. And then, <laughs> uh, then I don't text her for another two months. And then I say, good news, she says, what's the news? And then I think I just sent her, I don't really understand what I said. Oh, I sent her a link. Okay, this is what's not loading. It was a link to saying that, you know, uh, bars are open in Miami again. She says, interesting, I say, we should celebrate. And she does not respond. So then nothing happens for a solid year. Right, like nothing happens. And this is why it's good not to just blow out numbers. I think guys have a bad habit of like, oh, I'll just delete the number, this chick is being a bitch. But I never saw the point in that. Like, I'm just gonna let it sit, right? Because if you live in the same city, chances are you'll probably run into the person again at some point. You'll see them on a dating app, like you'll have some kind of interaction. And what happened was about a year later, I was at that same bar with a different date and I ran into her. And this time the date was going well, so it was a very brief interaction. Uh, but you know, I just said, yeah, you know, like, oh yeah, it's funny seeing you here again, blah, blah, blah. You you know, we should, uh, you know, catch up. She's like, yeah, yeah. So then I text her and I say, looks like we exchanged numbers too. Uh, she says, look at your name. And she had me saved as like Russian petting guy. So I quickly went in my phone and changed her name to her name, girl who stalks me at name of the bar, right? Which is pretty funny. I say, look at yours, said, honey, you wish. I say, lol, it was between that and use this regular to flirt with you. I mean, you're welcome. I do appreciate your efforts. You almost earned yourself a date. So here, as you can see, I'm basically framing the whole thing as if she's the one that has to earn a date with me, right? So it's a very fun, playful frame. I don't have to earn it, I just have to ask. And she's very cocky. I say, confident are we? Why wouldn't I be? Would you say no? I say, depends on the vibe. So now I'm getting her to question whether she can actually get a date with me. What vibe do I give? It's pretty mixed actually. Elaborate, please. It's fun and flirty, but I do, but for some reason, you enjoy playing hard to get. However, at the same time, I can tell you have a wild side, which is something I bet a lot of men miss. So this is just a Pretty general observation, I think would apply to a lot of girls, uh, but I could tell that the wild side kind of had that feeling based on her eye contact, and of course the playing hard to get, well, we saw that. 
Uh, what are you doing awake? If they miss a goodbye, are you missing it? So she double texts me here. I say, just hanging out with this guy. Uh, and then I say, never, mm, the babe, I'm still out. Tonight is party night, be good, Jesus is watching. So again, this is kind of how you wanna maintain, you know, when you can't meet up with a girl right away, right? So you wanna keep it fun and flirty, right? So maybe you're traveling, maybe for whatever reason it doesn't work out, keep things fun and flirty, shoot the shit, maybe some light level of trolling, that's basically my style of game. I'm never good, Jesus, are you watching? And I sent her a meme that says, every time you masturbate, Jesus is watching. And she sends me a video of her smoking a joint, I just ignore it and then I say the next day, how was your big night out? I got to dress up and reject a bunch of men. It was empowering as if I needed a night out to feel like a boss be again, lol. So, so ego, I say sounds like my typical Friday. It's not typical for me. I like to party, but usually not so hard and definitely not wearing what I was eating. And here I just got busy, honestly, this wasn't like some intentional uh, you know, game. I just forgot to respond to her. And then she double texts me, uh, hey Alex, Russian petting guy. And then I, I don't respond. It says, a sex and dating coach, but you can't tell me to fuck off. Mm, I'm doubting your profession, right? So when you don't respond to a girl, this is the kind of stuff you get happen. They start chasing you, right? So again, this is the power of just not blowing things out, not deleting numbers, but just kind of keeping things in the pipeline. I say, why would I ever tell my favorite, insert name of bar where we met, girl that? No, I was just very busy last night, very long podcast. Favorite bar girl, you have a podcast 1 a.m. Yeah, they go late sometimes, what's up? I don't know, I felt like talking to you, usually very interesting, can't argue with that. How about we have that talk over a bottle of wine sometime this week? I work a lot, but I think I can find some time. Now you might be wondering, why do I get a much better response this time? Well, one, probably she's in a different place in her life, but two, when the girl's chasing you, right, and you're the one that's being a little like, you know, kind of laid back, you're not the one that's pursuing it, when you do go for the clothes, you can get a much better response, right? Because she's been chasing you, she's been chasing you, and then you give her that bait, she's gonna jump on it. Versus if you're the one that's chasing her, right, she's gonna be more reluctant. Uh, or at least more hesitant or just less responsive, less enthusiastic. I say, same, how's Monday or Wednesday night? So here I'm just going for the close. She, you're here, we're just coordinating the schedule. Uh, so I say, I can do after work or Tuesday around eight. She says, I have an outing with a friend, if you're okay with that. Yeah, that's cool, for which day you mean Tuesday around eight. And then here I have to reschedule on her. Uh, this is, again, it's not some deliberate you know, game move. I just was legitimately busy. Hey, I remember to have two podcasts back to back Tuesday night. How about Wednesday or Thursday evening? So here we are coordinating the schedule. But you can see that she's, uh, you know, pretty respond responsive. I say, all right, next week, then I guess, all right, next week, I'll text you. So then I wait until Saturday, and I say, yo, sexy. Hey, Alex, technically next week, start tomorrow. What's up? I say, I just couldn't contain my enthusiasm, so I use a lot of humor. Just prepping for a podcast, you. I'm taking my mom out to dinner. It's her birthday. Cool. Give moms a hug for me. <laughs> Have fun with your podcast. Thanks. What's your schedule like next week? We can do a drink and combo Thursday if you're available. I don't work that night. Yep, Thursday evening works. Uh, so she says, I was Kato, but sounds like a plan. Uh, so here we get, we're just getting back into the schedule. So when you're talking about logistics, you don't need to like be entertained and just focus on the logistics, which is what I'm doing. Um, so here we're just locking down days. And then she says on Thursday, I had a shit day at work. I think I'm gonna go home and smoke. One of the officers at my job literally tried to blame me for a mistake in account that didn't happen. I'm um, like, what the fuck? So she's flaking on me. I say, sounds like you could lose a little stress relief. I could. I must add that I'm the last person to make the mistake. Not buddy, but I'm perfect because nobody is. So here she's just talking about her work and I'm just kind of bringing back to something more sexual. All good. I'll give you one of my famous massages so that the stress will just melt away. But notice how the sexualization is pretty smooth. What kind of massage? One that involves coconut oil. Must be good if it's famous. Five stars on Yelp. So here I'm just trying to uh, confirm the date. I'm saying I'm finishing up some work now. How does 10.30 sound? I'm still assuming like the date is on. She, she just hits me up at midnight. You awake? Yes. Or interesting, why you awake? Podcast? Yes, I'm a night owl. What's up? Nothing, I'm just up. And I thought, text you. What are you up to night owl? And then I don't respond. She says, asleep then. Now I'm just chilling. Was looking forward to our little rendezvous. So here I'm just kind of gently nudging her saying, hey, we had a date, but you kind of didn't show up. She says, I need to ask. The coconut thing was sexual, right? Because I didn't really know how to read it, to be honest. I just assumed it was sexual because you're a man. I think that's a pretty good explanation. Where are you chilling? So here I'm going to proceed a little cautiously, right? Because if she is worried about coming off like a slut, if I jump on that, yeah, it was sexual because I want to rub coconut oil on your ass, you know, I'm going to get a possibly a negative reaction, right? So I don't really know how to gauge her at this point. So I say, nah, I hate sex. I'm at home. Uh, she says, I think I can maybe persuade you to like it. So when she sends me that text, I know that at that point that she is DTF. Um, maybe who knows, you might be set home, yes, but couch, bed, kitchen. 
And the frame I like to have is if the girl's almost sexualizing on me, like she's the one that's convincing me to sleep with her, which is something I got from watching Californication, right? The main character, Hank Moody, does that all the time. He's almost like the girl's the one that sleeps with him, right? Which again, is very effective. I guess I can let you try. Officer, actually, mm, so you have a desk. I could persuade you on a desk. I do like me a good hard persuading, so you can see things are getting a little steamy. I think I stand a chance at changing your mind, but it must be repaid with the coconut massage. Sorry, Mr. Hart, I meant coconut oil massage. I say, deal, wanna come over? Oh, I want to come all over, but I think I'll self please tonight. Image in my head uh, of our eventual wine night is pretty pleasing. I say, you know, no one likes to tease, dot, dot. She says, I like a little teasing. You, you busy tomorrow night, I'm off. I love to get off also. I say tomorrow I'm busy. How about Saturday, Sunday? Uh, so here we're just trying to coordinate. Uh, we're coordinating. Uh, move on to the next uh, screenshot. So Saturday, I hit her up with Yo Sexy. She sends me a video of herself, my makeup shirt, and this filter make me feel like a burlesque dancer. Um, just watch and the end. I say, ah, getting all doled up for our date. And she says, I'm going out, LOL. So at this point, it's getting a little annoying. So I, you know, because this is like the second time where she's sort of flaky on me. So I call her out. I say, are you always as difficult to make plans with? Okay, okay, mommy, we're going back to Miami now. I just don't respond. She's like, I'm wrong person. My best friend is out with me. And I thought I was texting her, but I'm down to fuck any day. So this is a drunk text. Uh, this is, that's it though. Anything serious, not me. So yeah, uh, not for you looking for something real. Oh, it's okay. Cause I just wasn't responding. I say, you're good. I'm not looking for anything serious either. We just need to actually lock down at night. Essentially. Yes. I say Wednesday night, I'll be free. That work for you. She doesn't respond. So I, a few days later, I say, yes, no. So it's, oh my God, follow up so kind. So here we're getting back into logistics. Um, and I say, I've only been trying to make plans with you for a month now. Yes. 11 is just good. Uh, so here we are. Um, oh, she got confused by what I said. I say, got Sarah J rolling in. She says, got Sarah J rolling in. What? That's what you wrote. I was confused. I sent her a voice memo to clear things up. She says, love your accent. Well, thanks. It sounds better in real life. I know he's still good for tonight. The confirmation. Yep. Cool. Want to plan for 11. So you can see here, uh, you know, we're, um, we're locking things in. She says, I got 1045. Where are we having the drink? Now, because the conversation had been pretty sexual, I feel very confident just inviting her straight over. I, I know she's going to bite on that. My romantic balcony at the uh, so here we're just giving her the address. Uh, so here you can see she texts me uh, a 45 coconut chocolate for the massage oil. Nope, just pick. I just pick one. And here we're just getting more into logistics, 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 coordinating, coordinating. Uh, and then you can see, oh, I needed to go home and change. And you can see, bam, date is on. All right, so let's take a look at some of the big takeaways. So first off, you should always try to make dates happen as soon as possible. But when that's not happening, I just don't see a point in just blowing it out or deleting the number. All of that is an emotional reaction. The only thing that can do is make you feel better about yourself. But the real key, if you want to be successful with game long term, is just keep a bunch of leads in the pipeline, right? Spin plates as they call it. So you can see with this girl, there was like a year where I didn't text her. That's fine, right? But if I had sent something cringy or I blew it out or deleted her number, then there would be no option for me to successfully spin the plate. So that's I'm doing basically what I did with this trick. I do with you know dozens, dozens of other girls, right? So there's always these little plates spinning, and sometimes you know they land on my dick. All right, so that's the first one. The second point is that you want to be very persistent, right? But at the same time, when you find that like one approach is not working, it's time to change gears. Guys often get stuck and like they just keep doing the same thing over and over again, hitting their head against the wall. So when I saw that, you know, I wasn't able to just set up the day with the strict through logistics, I kind of pulled away a little bit and I let her chase me, right? I started trolling her a little bit more. I started being more fun. I let the conversation get a lot more sexual. So again, you want to try different approaches, but also you can't be afraid to call a girl out. So then, you know, when she flaked the second time or whatever, or sort of flaked, I called it out. I said, are you always this difficult to make plans with? And then after that, she started investing massively. So don't be the guy that's always on this phone responding instantly don't be afraid to sometimes pull away as well and again if you're talking to multiple girls dozens and dozens of girls it makes it easier to actually be that cool relaxed guy who doesn't care that much if you only have one girl in your life that's going to be a lot harder and again this all goes back to the more leads you have in the pipeline the easier it is going to be for you to have the kind of text game that you want to ultimately be successful all right hopefully you guys found this video valuable show us some love by smashing that like button hitting subscribe and clicking the bell for notification thank you guys for watching and until next time